I'm not sure what you know about the Canada Health Act, but you should probably do know, and you, I don't know if you've realized it, but care does not, is not guaranteed or insured in the Canada Health Act the same way our hospital and doctor services are. Care comes under what's called the extended health services. And extended health services are not guaranteed. They are there at the discretion of every province. So the province gets money in, the province gives it to their Ministry of Health. Their Ministry of Health gives it to all the health authorities around each province, around the province. We have several, as you know, in British Columbia. That health authority gets to decide the type of care program they want. That's why the care program that your friend gets in Abbotsford is going to be much different than the care program that your friend gets in Prince George because they are at the discretion of the province, but they are also at the building from the uh, health center itself. So this basically is that. Now, the Romano report recommended that we have home care as the next essential service. That has never been acted upon, it's never been implemented, and as far as I can see, it probably will not be. It's interesting what other countries have done, though. For instance, Denmark has put a moratorium in 1997, a moratorium on building no more nursing homes. They said all the money that would have gone into nursing homes are now going into home care services because people want to age in place. So some of them work out very, very well. I want to make sure that by, in closing, that I mention to you that our aging population, you and I aging boomers, our aging population is not going to bankrupt our health system at all. If you hear that, it is a fallacy. Look at the rate, it's, under, it's just, just at 1% of the annual impact that, that the aging are having on our health care budget. What's driving health care? Chronic disease management, which of course does happen toward the end of life, but chronic disease management, prescription drugs, and specialized technology and equipment. Those are the three drivers. Our aging population is not one of the major drivers that's going to influence that. In closing then, I want you to get again a perspective as to what is your risk for long-term care. It's one in two chances. And if you're 65, if you're a couple turning 65, there's a 70% chance that one of you are going to incur those care costs. All right? We, we look at our autos, we look at our, we insure our house with fire, and we do very little when it comes to planning for our care. And yet look at your chances, your risks at this point in time. My basic care plan, to spend just a second on this, this is what I have. I have an appointed care manager. Now, usually we say your care manager would be your spouse till age 70. At age 70, it turns over to a best friend or, providing they're not the same age as that, best friend and or a child. But keep in mind, if you had a, if you had a, that child was a kooky 12-year-old, they're probably still a kooky 30-year-old, so pick that child carefully, <laughs> all right? Pick that child carefully. So I have two appointed uh, care managers, my two best girlfriends, all right? I also have all documents organized on disk. You have to have who they are. My father said, Patty, don't worry, all the documents are organized. They were in a shoebox. All right? I thought, oh, my stars. So these are the kinds of things. All your documents are organized. But there's no use organizing them. No one knows where to find them. They have to be looked at. And you have to have an understanding of all of your savings and the dollars you have, of course. I own one critical illness policy. $100,000 policy, a CI policy. I consider a CI policy, the long-term care insurance policy, as sort of conjoined twins. I like the idea that they work together, especially as a single woman, as a working woman. So I own two long-term care insurance policies as well. All right, I believe that debt-free is part of it, as we all know, and full ownership of your own properties and my investment properties. And of course, I make sure that my financial planner is Velcroed to my hip. I do not let this person now ever talk to me without talking to me about care. That's always part of every scenario, what would happen, what would happen. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Care years planning reduces our risks significantly that we can face over an uncertain future. And in today's lifestyle that we have with long, long life, long, long life, care years planning is now part of your desire to age successfully. Thank you very much.